I've got an upcoming shoot coming, so I need to do hair and makeup, get the dust out of my beard. Yeah, Welcome yeah, to the uh, episode, uh, chapter three of the Jurassic Ambedell Highway Park. Yes. It's like oh some are deep some look are at deep. this one here it's like a body bullet hole it's a crater that's like half my finger yeah that's how them actually have the rocks still embedded in them but hey it's doing a pretty good job protecting the trailer from all the rocks yeah. wow all right we made it to our Marie campsite. We are about 30 k's out of Marie, which is perfect because tomorrow we can pop in there for a cup of hot coffee and get some fuel, figure out a fuel tank issue, and see if we can fix the sat for now. Darren, what is that? What's what? Um, it's a North Face jacket. Why does it have a piece of tape on it? Uh, well, the washing machine at um, Birdsville kind of like put a hole all the way through it so I'm losing all my feathers <laughs> so I've used some is that a feather patch? heavy duty tape to patch up my jacket hold on and stop my feathers escaping well it's not a bush fix it's not a bush fix isn't it? Long, this one. all right so what broke today? you lost the foot the that the plastic food from the little like from the trailer long range tank long range tank is reporting to be empty but it's not i'm on the wrong way am i ah there we go now you can yeah. see us so we'll figure it out when we get to the fuel station our sat phone is not charging which we'll try to figure out tonight oh yeah let's well, have a look at the buggy unless something's falling off it's got a few little new marks on it a bit of a mud. Yeah, it's got a nice little mud falling off. This side's pretty good. <laughs> the engine is uh, the engine is a little popped a little bit of oil today. Yeah, but, but it's, it's nothing compared to what it used to. That's kind of out where it was originally. Yeah, and look, it's been running for what five, six hours straight on pretty much foot down on the floor the whole time. Got a bit more mud this side. Because I couldn't see, you see. So I had to adopt the uh, Yep. <laughs> Out the side. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, um, we're actually gonna be drive. Actually, from Marie, we're gonna start trekking west, yeah. which means we're gonna be driving into sunsets every day. Well, we're gonna do something about this. So, a thing. that is, yeah, pretty <laughs> Darren is here. Where's Darren? <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, yeah. um, we also try to wash the bonnet a little bit better with fuel. Yeah, with the old petrol. Would, uh, um, we, we we like to spill fuel all over uh, the buggy. I have to say, I would say we've launched a couple of jerry cans um, where, the, where, the, where, the, where the funnels have come off. Yeah. We've spilled a ton of fuel on this bonnet and the Raptor coat hasn't. I'm, I'm impressed. I would, th I would think that the Raptor coating would just melt, but oh, it doesn't care, does it? Come check out my... my uh, here. So Birdsville Tavern, uh, bar mat. So now when the bar the bar of the trailer is filthy, we just get out the Birdsville bar mat and it makes us feel like we're in the Birdsville hotel again having a cider. So we're gonna we're gonna hook up the Eco X gear S E twenty six soundbar. That on. Yep. And they connect it. There's one in the buggy and there's one here. They connect it with the EcoCast, and we're going to sit in the middle, and we're going to watch uh, Westworld. Westworld. Darren has not seen Westworld, so we will watch Westworld in the middle of nowhere that looks very similar to the setting of Westworld. We did want to watch Game of Thrones because we probably are the only two human beings in the world who haven't seen Game of Thrones, so yep. we, we tried to download it and take it with us and watch it on this trip, but failed miserably. Yeah, I, I bought it on YouTube. Yeah. And then it it's like you're not allowed to download that one. Then, then I tried I, Netflix, that didn't work. 
Or did I subscribe to you? I subscribed to something and then they don't do offline yep. stuff. So. so look, we've honestly tried to watch Game of Thrones and um, it just doesn't want us to see it. So yeah, we'll remain the we two <laughs> only humans in the world that haven't seen Game of Thrones. But we'll do that on the next trip. We'll watch Game of Thrones on the next trip. Yeah, just don't tell us anything. Don't, no spoilers. And I have a special surprise for Darren. Ooh. I also downloaded last Formula One race. Oh wow! <laughs> so we're going nice. to watch the French, French Open, French, French Grand Prix. French Grand Prix. That's uh, cool. Anyways, all right, guys, we've rambled ranting. on for a long time. See I'm you guys in the morning. See ya. Ready for my? I've got an upcoming shoot coming, so I need to do hair and makeup, get the dust out of my beard. Yeah, Welcome to the episode uh, chapter three of the Jurassic and Bedell Highway Park. Yes. <laughs> the dust is making me crazy. The dust and the last two weeks of washing machine. Yeah. Anyway, welcome back. This is our Anne Bedell uh, leg of the journey. So we have done Perth to Laverton, up the Great Central Road to Uluru. We went across the Mount Dare, we then crossed the Simpson Desert on the Madigan Line, we came down the Hay River Line, and then we went on the QAA to Birdsville. So check all of that out if you haven't checked those episodes. And then from Birdsville, we took the Birdsville track to Cooper Pedy. Which, that was fun. Which was a rough, rough ride yesterday. Um, and from here, we've got 1,350 kilometers along the Anne Highway, which is not a highway. It's no. uh, all off-road. And uh, with a bit of good luck, in five or six days' time, we'll top out in Laverton. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, well, from there, we'll head back to Perth. So guys, there's loads of episodes to watch. If you want to understand how we got here and the problems that we've encountered and overcome to get here, check them out on YouTube. Lunch break time! Woohoo! How good is this road? I mean, how good is, how good looking is this road? <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty much what it's like driving on it, yes. It is. Corrugations oh. times two. That is yeah. I mean you guys just saw it on a GoPro from inside, but it it gets pretty full on. Yeah. And then there are some really nice smooth sections. But it's one of those tracks that like you can't relax. Well, some of those corrugations were so rough and so long it kept popping out of gear. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. yeah. But no, nah, and then you get on the smooth stuff and away you go again. Yeah, right. So. That's good. But yeah, definitely 100% attention. Yeah. You, you stop looking for a second and you have the bloody track. You're gonna so. be in a, or you'll hit a rock or a dip or. Yeah. yeah. But it is beautiful track. Like, I mean, you guys have seen it on the on the footage now, but. It is amazing track to go through, and if it's 1300 k's of this, I don't mind. Well, not the corrugations, but the track. We're told, the, told the Western Australian side will be less corrugated. So we'll Good. And, but there's gonna be some epic campsites around oh, here. Yeah. Looking forward take to your, that. Take your, take your pick, really. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I don't think most of these are even marked on wiki cams or anything, because no. there's just so many. I mean, like, right behind me. You can camp here, yep. or there, or there. No shortage of wood. Oh no, it's fire wood everywhere. It's awesome. Alright, time for lunch. What do we have for lunch? 
the usual uh, staple diet of uh, cheese and salami sandwiches with a bag of salt and vinegar crisps. Yep. <laughs> Sounds good to me. Woo! <laughs> oh, this is cool. Ah, oh, look at the baggy. Buggy's looking dirtier every day. Look at that. See, that's the red dirt. And that's our logo. Do you know that the off-road TV color is actually Australian red sand color? Yay! That's what it's supposed to represent at least. But now you know. Speaking of orange colors, these guys also have orange logo. I've got a better sticker here. Here you go. Yeah, fortunately, you can't really see the battery because it's buried underneath our firewood and crap, which, sorry, I take world, but we had to. It's, uh, it's down there. But, thanks to you, this buggy keeps running. And I love how, like, we park somewhere and people keep telling us that we forgot our lights on or something, and we're like, you know that those lights can run for like a week? <laughs> yep, nothing better than lithium starter battery. Seriously, guys, have a look at our review of that battery. But it's, uh, it's awesome. Anyways, we'll get cooking and then we'll get back on the track. This is going to be our last day of cheese sandwiches because we didn't get any more cheese. <gasps> There's one more whole block of cheese. Dan doesn't know that. Now he does, <laughs> but there's no more salami. Because those who know me know that lunch means cheese sandwich. Yeah, but no more salami. But hey, cheese sandwich, good. All right, bye-bye. What's happening? What the hell have you been doing? He's been using these corrugations for something. <laughs> <laughs> you naughty, naughty boy. I've, uh, I've unbuttoned my shorts, so it's more comfortable. Uh, I just had a really loud pop and it sounded like a tire, but... Um, no, no, maybe not. No. Huh? Rock. I think so. Hey, Darren. Yes? I invented a new game. What's it called? It's called Rooftop Tent Spear Hunting. And I caught one! Oh, wow. Oh, your sand flag is attacking my trailer. <laughs> Gee whiz. Where's the top of your flag gone? Oh. Wow, you got a floppy. <laughs> Anyways, that happened. Yep. Otherwise, it's all still like attached. I'm surprised. Yeah. This has been brutal. Well, look, this track really, like... Well, that's not very well attached, is it? Ah, oh, it's mostly attached. <laughs> so there is what? Three main sort of dangers on this track, right? One is... Me. Well, yeah. Well, one is the corrugations will just literally shake everything apart. Second is Me. these random holes and turns that if you don't look, you'll just end up off the track. And the third one Me. is yes, Darren. The fact that the track at some point is basically like a railway, like your wheels just are stuck in the two grooves yeah. and it doesn't matter what you want to do, you can't. And if there is a tree or a branch or a bush, you're gonna hit it at speed. Well, I've spent most of the day straddling the flat middle part on the edge of the track. Yeah, I know, because you can. Yeah. Because your wheelbase is like... It's awesome. Two thirds of this. I have been whacked in the face by several trees. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I can't do that. So I'm just literally in the track of the way. But... Um, also, there are all these chicken tracks around. Yeah. That are like, what for? I took one, it was awesome fun. Yeah, they're like... Zigzag and wobbly, but yeah. they're like, what's the point? There's no big holes or anything. Yeah. Um, let's start to look for a campsite. Yes, I does agree. What about up there? Look at that, that's a camping spot. Ooh. Yeah. 
Wow. All right, guys, we're gonna go right up there under the hill and we're gonna hide there and come. Follow us. Well, well, well. Why is my head so big on this video? Is it zoomed in? Yeah, it was. Now my head is better. Well, well, well. We made it to our campsite. Yay. There you go. So, my chair is broken. That's broken. That's broken. Broken, 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 broken. And so the result is that this squishes and it doesn't really work. So all you need to do, take your broken sand flag, beat that into the ground. Can you record that so it's nicely visible? Yeah. Do you like my socks? You look like an idiot. <laughs> I'm so warm and cozy. Actually, what do you look like? Do you look like... Do you remember... Who is it? Oh, it's the, um, the English Morris dancers that wear socks like that. <laughs> yeah, if you had bells on your feet, you'd be fine. <laughs> yeah, IGA. Whoa, I'm going to be so nice and warm. Anyways. <laughs> Sorry so, about that. <laughs> so you bend a... You, you bang a... Um, Broken sand flag, and then you feed your chair onto it, and that's your new leg. Now you can sit down in full comfort. So, um, if the fire gets too hot and you want to shuffle away, I need to either move the fire or uh, take my chair, my sand flag. <laughs> By the way, the sand flag is about that long; like it's like it's deep in the ground. Okay, well look, I'm glad you fixed your chair, because otherwise it was going to be five days of not niceness. Yeah, but I'm hoping that for the next five days we're camping on a sand dune, so I can actually put the sand flag into the ground. Yeah, that, that would be a bugger if we camped somewhere hard. Could probably do like a branch or yeah. something, but at least I know that if you just support this corner of the chair, it's good. Good, well, I'm, I'm glad. And, um... Get away! <laughs> <laughs> Moving on to the buggy. Um, it's still in one piece after being literally rattled to hell for hours on end. These corrugations are pretty brutal. Um, but he's done brilliantly again. And we'll give him a good check over tomorrow morning. But um, a lot of fun straddling the smooth center bit so that the transmission sits above the smooth center bit. Because otherwise if the transmission's on the corrugations at times it just pops out. So straddle the middle and drive along the edge. And that is the technique. Funny enough, same as the as it's against the sun. Yeah. Let me run the other way. <gasps> Correct lighting. Why are you in my shot again? I'm talking about the buggy. Exactly. You get enough air time. I'm, I'm talking about the buggy. So, what I'm trying to say is the same as the Madigan line. The Y62 struggles to keep up with the buggy. Yeah. Honestly, like. Except bloody, I don't know, a gravel high speed gravel road, the buggy is better off road than 162. It is. Here's your lesson. You want a proper off roader? Buy one of don't these. Don't buy a four wheel drive, buy a buggy. Yeah. You want more fun than any. Than... You know what? I was driving along today and I, I was thinking to myself if there is more fun to be had in a road legal car, then bring it on. Yeah. Yeah, hundred percent. Because I want to try it. Otherwise, I'm telling you, flying through the Amberdale track today in this, knowing that it's road legal, I'm thinking to myself, is there anything better? Nah, no, I don't think there is. No. honestly, anything. Simpson, driving through town, going shopping. I literally felt like Colin McRae today doing a rally stage. <laughs> oh, hundred percent. Yes, it does feel like rally sometimes. Yeah. Um, what else is happening? The trailer is also. Uh, survived today is beating. The Birdsville bar is 
well, the Birdsville Hotel is now open again. And the Y62 has done admirably well today as well. So all in all, tell, actually, tell us what broke today. What broke today? Sand flag, well, the top of it flew off mm -hmm. and then it speared the rooftop tent, but it's fine. It's still, still alive. Now it's my chair leg. What else broke? Nothing. That's impressive. Oh, the buggy, oh, now that was a cool thing we had to do today, right? Back in the, back in the day, my, I had an MG Metro, right? That was my first car, <laughs> thing was awesome. But people of a certain generation will remember that if your car didn't start and it was a manual, you'd basically get your mates to push you down a hill and you'd put it in second or third gear, drop the clutch and, and go. hopefully it would go. So for the first time in, I don't know, very, very long time, that's what we had to do today on the track to get the buggy to start. We weren't, we're I'm still not 100% sure what happened, but... Oh, so I don't know, because the fuel. battery was good, but... Yeah, we stopped her, and she wouldn't start, so we did the old uh, push, put her in gear and drop the clutch, and she started. Yeah. It is possible the alternator wasn't working for a while, and the yeah. battery got flat, but then it would have been running on the battery for a long time, which just shows how good the battery is. It, but felt, it felt like... It sounded like sort of yeah. struggling battery, but yeah, it is. yeah, so that was pretty cool to do that today. <laughs> it was also very easy to push. Yeah. Even on the sand and off-road, it was, it's like nothing. For those of you who uh, who remember cars like that and doing that, you'll have a, lot, you'll have a bit of a laugh. How many times have you like stopped on the side of the road and just helped someone push their car so they can yeah. get it started? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Can't do that with <laughs> automatics so. now. But yeah, right. really nothing broke, 200 kilometers on some Serious corrugations. Oh yeah. That's what, so, yes. Um, What's for dinner? Oh, I don't know. We went shopping today, so. <gasps> yeah. 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 You guys know what it is. <laughs> if you fun. don't, well, you need to watch Simpson Desert previous season. If you do know what's for lunch, dinner. If you do know what's for dinner, put it in comments. I'll give you a clue though. The IGA had it in stock today, and it was just a momentous moment when uh, yes. I found them. Yes. I took all three. Because last time we had to shovel it out of Darren's out of the out of Darren's trailer's drawer. Yeah, I definitely cut my rope on some of that. Yeah. So, if you know what it is, put it in the comments. If not, go watch the Simpson series. All right, guys, we'll wrap up today. We'll be back on the road tomorrow morning and we will give you an update as we go. 1,100 kilometers to go. Yay. <laughs> <laughs> Got it.